Mr. Nevels, you are here today because you claim you are literally stuck between two women at war, your mother, Mrs. Latta, and your wife, Ms. Coleman Nevels. Now, you admit you have serious trust issues with your wife, and you say your mother is only making things worse. Now, Mrs. Latta, you are Mr. Neville's mother. You argue you're suing for the results of a paternity test on your granddaughter because Mr. Neville's wife became pregnant while he was away. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, now you say you believe Ms. Coleman Neville's cheated and he's not the father of two-year-old Nevea. That is correct, Your Honor. All right, now, Ms. Coleman Neville's, you say Ms. Latta needs to back off because you're almost certain her son is your daughter's father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Latta, explain to me, why are you so doubtful? Your Honor, Mr. Neville's and Mrs. Coleman Neville's was on a breakup. Jessica moved in with another guy, and shortly after that, she went to jail for 30 days. And as soon as she got out, she came straight to my son, and two weeks later, she said she's pregnant. So, in my mind, I'm saying, Your Honor, there's no way Nevaeh could be Mr. Okay, Neville's so I think daughter. that begs the question, how pregnant was she in two weeks? Your Honor, her and my son was nowhere near each other. She was seen on Facebook with another guy kissing him. She even got his name tattooed on her body as if, as if, Your Honor, my son didn't mean anything to her. You got another guy's name tattooed during a break? Yes. Whoa. What, were you in love or something? No, I did it out of spite. Oh. oh. We were still communicating A spiteful at the time. tattoo? Yeah. Now, you know that's about crazy, right, Ms. Neville? Because that's on your body. <laughs> So, wait, fill me in. What, what's going on here? So, you're in a marriage. Yes. But, truthfully, you're in court. When he was away, were you sleeping with other people? I mean, we were on a break, and so we were able to do whatever we wanted to. It was a mutual agreement. And I feel... Okay, like... so you're on a break, and you've agreed to it. It's paternity court. So, during that break, were you sleeping with other people without using protection? One other person. One. <laughs> okay, so now, Mr. Nevels, were you at the hospital when the baby was born? Yes, yes, I was from, from the beginning of the time she was born all the way to now. When your wife told you she was pregnant, did you believe the baby was yours? Yes, I did. You had no doubts? I had no doubts in my mind. Were you aware that she had slept with someone else while you all were on the break? Yes, I was. But you still had no doubts about... I had no doubts at all. When the baby was born, I suggested a DNA test, and Mrs. Coleman Neville said that would be a good idea. So, Your Honor, that made me think even more, she have doubts yeah. that that is my son's child. So, Mr. Neville, do you have doubts now? Um, there are somewhat doubts from her admitting... Admitting Why? that she had sex with guys. She cheated on me in the past with multiple guys without having any remorse of any type of feelings by cheating on me. So, how have these doubts played out in your relationship? I feel very doubtful when I look at her. Sometimes you do. it's like I see other people, so I'm like, I'm not sure if that's... Wait, wait, hold on. You say when you look at your daughter, you see other people? Explain. Yes. You mean in her features? In you... her features. Sometimes I look like maybe she looks like me, or then maybe, I'll be, maybe she don't, or maybe the ears or the eyes. So, you're all desperately me... trying to pick out a little, connection. Little couple of things up about her that's similar to me. And when you say you see other people, are you familiar with the facial features of anyone else that your wife slept with? Yes. On this break? Yes. So, has anyone ever told you your wife was cheating on you? Yes, or... yes, yes, ma'am. It was um, a couple, maybe a couple years back when I was walking through my neighborhood, a guy stopped me and said, hey, aren't you Dominique? I said, yeah, you go with Jessica Coleman? I said, yes. See, um, he started describing her um, wow. areas, only specific... What? ...specific things that I would know that no one else should know. So, are you still sleeping with different people, Ms. Nell? No, ma'am. 
as soon as we got back together, it was done. So do you know this person your mother-in-law is talking about? Yes. You had, did you sleep with him too? Yes, but that was protected. <laughs> so now hearing this, Ms. Latta? Yes, you're right. And she admits to sleeping with someone else, but the guy that you're accusing her of sleeping with, she did sleep with him, but she used protection. It could possibly be somebody else. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling that... More doubtful I... or less doubtful? Um, more doubtful. I want this connection. I really do. But my son, he only calls me when he needs things. And it's like she's keeping him away from me. He never calls, Mom, how you doing or anything. Okay. I think it's time for the results. Are we ready? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. In the case of Latta versus Neville's Coleman Neville's, when it comes to two-year-old Nevea Neville's, Mr. Neville's, you are her father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you. I told you. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Feel relieved? Feel better? It's a lot better. I feel, <sighs> I feel like a fresh new start. Yes. It is a fresh new start, <laughs> Now we can begin that tighter bond. You were very honest in this courtroom. And look, everybody makes mistakes, but I appreciate your candor. You admitted that you had slept with somebody else. Yes. And they had doubts. And quite frankly, those doubts were valid. But now that the doubt is gone, we've got the results. We know that beautiful Nevea, it, it's y'all all family, right? Exactly. Now can you begin to try to trust one another and, and have that brand new start your yes, husband spoke of? I think that would be wonderful for this beautiful little girl. And she really, really does deserve it. I wish you all the best of luck. <laughs> Take care of that little girl, all right? Court is adjourned. You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Richardson versus Kimball. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Miss Richardson, you say you are here today to prove to the defendant, Mr. Kimball, that he is the biological father of your two-year-old son, Brian. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you claim he has done nothing for the child and you're hoping today's results name him as the father so he will finally step up. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Kimball, uh, you feel your doubts about paternity are more than justified, as you know Ms. Richardson was sexually active with other men at the time Brian was conceived. <laughs> so, Ms. Richardson, please tell me, how did you meet and become involved with Mr. Kimball? I was about eight and a half months pregnant with my first son, and he lived across the street. Um, I was clean from drugs. I, um, about 18, 19 months at the time, and um, I relapsed after that amount of time. And him and I, from there, started a relationship. We used for a while just as friends. And then we ended up in a relationship, in a sexual relationship. So just for the record, you both are clean now. Yes. OK, and that's great. Good, good. <laughs> and so you were together mm -hmm. in a relationship. You both were doing... And we both were using, you know, Using. We were running the streets. But the lifestyle we lived, you know what I mean? We had, we had to do what we had to do to get drugs at that time. You were living the lifestyle... Of a drug Of a guy. person yeah. addicted to drugs. Yes. But we've been clean for 18 months now. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's wonderful. So, during that time when your child was conceived, were you having sex with other people? No, I wasn't doing anything. I had gotten out of rehab, and I'd, I had this whole plan to be with him. And so, before you went into the rehab, was Mr. Kimball the only person you were intimate with? He was in jail. Yeah, but when, when I was in jail, but right before she went to rehab, she was staying at another guy's house. Mm -hmm. 
and she went to rehab with the gentleman, with the guy. They went to rehab together. So you thinking she's intimate with this person, she could be pregnant by anyone. Yeah, she denies being intimate with the, with the guy, but I believe otherwise. All right. So, Mr. Kimball, you have this doubt in the back of your mind. Yeah, I have doubt. I mean, when I got out of jail, I was with her during the pregnancy. You know, I mean, we lived together. I took care of the baby, but I just had doubt because he has blonde hair, blue eyes. I have brown hair, brown eyes, and the baby looks just like her. And but that's the reason why I have concern and doubt. And plus, because of the lifestyle, that was the past. All the stuff she used to do when she was using drugs, but. Just because of that lifestyle we live in, I might have doubt that she could have been sleeping with somebody else. All right. He looks like me. There's not... I mean, your father has light eyes. My entire family has blonde hair. My youngest son has white hair. So when you see your child and you feel like Mr. Kimball is denying or not admitting or owning up to the fact that he's his child as well, how does that make you feel? I mean, he's been there through everything with me. He even... He left the town that we live in now and moved five hours away with me to my family. We, you know, we were always, me and him, you know, we were in and out of detox so much they, the staff there called us Bonnie and Clyde. And now it's like, um... Because you were like a team. Yeah, now it's like everything I do is, is wrong. What are you doing? Where are you going? You know, even going to church is, is, well, what do you do there? Who do you see there? Are you serious? Come with us. Can we be a family? Not. I want the baby to be mine, but I just have the doubt. You know, I mean, people, my family has said, I mean, they, they believe in their hearts they want it to be mine, but they say it don't look like me. It doesn't. If he is your son, you want to be in his life, I'm sure. Yes. And do you want a relationship with Miss Richardson? Uh, yes, I think we can. In the future, I mean, right now I'm trying to get myself straight. Absolutely. But maybe later down the line. And if the results, unfortunately, say he's not your biological son, what do you plan to do? I haven't really thought. I thought about it, but um, if he's not my son, he'd probably be devastated because he knows me as his father. He does. Yeah. So. He does. Yeah. Yeah, that's daddy. So you have a bond with this beautiful little boy. Yes. That's your son, you're his daddy, and you're just living with that doubt. Yes, Your Honor. And it's now eating away at your relationship and it's still eating, eating away at you. Yes, very much. I don't know if I could be his father still if I'm not his father. Wow. Ms. Richardson, I can tell this is really, really hurting you. I just don't understand. I mean, the person who he thinks that I was with was seven years younger than me. I had nowhere to go. He was nice enough to let me stay at his house. I mean, I just watched somebody get his face beat in with a wooden stick and his eyeball hanging out and his arm broken. He knows all the stuff that happened to me. He, like, I, it was horrible. He thinks I was having fun on the street, and I wasn't. Yeah, I she, wouldn't know when to rehab. I had a free apartment. If I was having fun, I wouldn't know yeah, when to rehab. used to lay on the couch with him. So what? I wasn't having sex with him. He was with my him. little brother. There seems to be a lot of issues between. I don't think if if he was his, his father, he he doesn't feel anyway. He doesn't feel like it's his responsibility to have to support. That's how he is. So it wouldn't matter. He just feels like it's his right to come in my house and go through my stuff, no. go through my phone, do what he wants, come and go as he pleases, eat my food. It wouldn't change anything. It wouldn't. I know that. I've been he still wouldn't. This no, you have since not. Day one. No, I you got... have not. My mother has. You no. got what? Rent you, receipts you from would... the tax money that was mine. You wouldn't even have got the apartment if I didn't pay for it. You could Your DSS couldn't afford it. If you got it with the tax I... money that was and right from mine. I furnished your whole house. You got. I got you a couch, TV. Okay, let's let's let's. Use old stuff from our last apartment. Let's use respectful language Sorry. in the courtroom. I think the only way we're going to be able to move forward is to get the results, and uh, <laughs> I think it's time. Jerome, the envelope, please. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Richardson versus Kimball, 
pertaining to nine-month-old Brian Kimball III. Mr. Kimball. You are Brian's father. I'm happy that I'm the father because I'm the only one he knows as his father. So now it can ease my mind and I feel a lot better now. And I can go on loving him the way I have. Good. Ms. Robinson, you've opened this case for your son because you're furious with your former friend, the defendant, who went behind your back, slept with your son, and is now claiming he fathered her child, even though you know she was sleeping with many more men. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, my God. Ms. Jackson, yes. you admit you slept with your friend's son without her knowledge, but claim the one thing you know is the plaintiff is a deadbeat who has done nothing for your three-month-old daughter, Milani, and that needs to change today. Is that yes, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Chaplin? Yes, Your you Honor. You stand here with your mother, positive that you are not the father. I'm absolutely sure I'm not the father. 100% positive. Because during the time that I knew her, we never was in a relationship. We was only friends throughout the entire time. Also, throughout the entire time, I've known her to talk to several other men. So you know she was talking to several other men? Yes, ma'am. Just talking? You got to do more than talking to make a baby. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> whenever we used to hang out or whatever, she had multiple people coming around. You know, a guy was um, spending a lot of time with Your her. Your Honor, can I intercept? Yes, Miss Jackson. Me and Dominique was having sex numerous of times every day. Okay, so therefore, for him to say that I was sleeping with somebody else, he's lying. The only one who got him thinking that his cousin It over there, which is his mother. It. And dang on um, It. Throughout the, several, his throughout the whole time I talked to this young lady, she had more than one cell phone. Your and honor, every single day, both of them. Hold on, let's get some order. Let's, to let's, to get, some order. let's get some you know. order. Let's get some order. So hold on. You admittedly slept with your best friend's son. We was not best friends, Your Honor. We was only friends. Okay, so your friend's son... It doesn't matter. Her son is grown. So the point is, is you decided that it was okay to sleep with your friend's son. Me and her, fr me and her son was friends. I'm from school. I'm 48 Girl, years old. And, and you dang 13 I come years from older than me, honey. Any other woman my age, You're 13 I don't care if he's a sin or not. It you doesn't do matter. Not he's grown. With somebody he's who grown, Bernita. He's grown. And try to he's help grown. you keep your kids. He's grown. You're gonna sleep with my son. He's when he had already had something going on. I don't give a dang if he is of age. I Girl. took the child in. And she I don't sat with my son that hurt. Mama. She I know you did it in my house. house. You're the worst. Girl. Hold on. You Let's get some order. Better. Let's get some I'm order. I'm saying my Shut son up. didn't sleep with her. I'm saying my son is a candidate because I was her friend. She was Girl. a young girl out here that needed some help with five kids, ma'am. And I didn't been through what she been through. I so my payment back was to sleep with my son. Okay, hold on. Let's not go there. Let me just understand. So you befriend her once you met her. Yes. And you all started what? You you going to the school dances. I got pictures of that. They need to put it up there. I fed them. I put them in my house. All them pictures that you see, that pictures you just put up there, we was to the school children's dance, Valentine's Day. So that was in February. My son didn't get there till June. I was a young mother from 14. I got pregnant at 14. I had him at 15 and I had five by 22. Mm. So I ain't gonna give no trick, no problem. But see, women helped me and women raised me and women brought me through. So I don't do dog girls out. I try to help them. And anybody that know me know my character. That's who I am. So I do it from so, the heart. So wait, wait. All right. So I understand your intention behind befriending Miss Jackson and saying, "Listen, this is a young woman. I can relate to where she is. I yes. want to help her. I want to guide her. Yes. I want to empower her. Yes. To do better and to raise her children. Yes. Throughout that process, you know you have a handsome son." Did you caution them and say, listen, not at that time because I don't have friends that sleep with my damn children. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't have right. friends that sleep with my children, so I didn't think nothing of it. We uh, clean uh, people and we upstanding right. people. Oh, and because of who she was, I never thought this dummy would look at her. So, Miss Jackson, what I want to understand is Mr. Chaplin somehow 
came back in the picture? No. So me and Dominique became friends. We got close. We was like brother, sister, and we had sex. Every day, nonstop. My Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. on. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, Miss Jackson, that sounds nasty. Now, you said you all were like brother and sister. We was friends. We was close like brother and sister. We was friends. Every time you see him, me and him hanging out together. We was hanging together, Yana. We were only friends. As you can see, she just said to herself, and she was having home sex girl, while we was friends. You know what I'm saying? So after Every we night. a lot of time together, yes, but the whole entire time, we were never in a relationship. We, was, so when you we come don't have to be in a relationship. We so have no baby, honey. Me, when you come to you me, don't you have tell to me be that. I'm no glad time. you understand that. So when you come right, to me, a paper exactly. telling me that you're pregnant, how does that put us in a relationship? First of all, you picked me up for the daggone doctor's office. And How I had to turn this in a relationship, and I had the daggone... So when you come we to me and you tell me We don't need no that relationship you... to have no baby. So when you come to me and tell me that I'm a candidate or you telling me I'm your baby's daddy, you better be telling that to every last one of the other men that you slept with that you First told of all, me about. Oh, that you we ain't talking about no every last other man. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Now, y'all gonna talk over one another, but you ain't gonna talk over me. I, I need to understand. How do you sleep with your mom's friend? How does that happen? Well, because, like I said, when I came down, um, I was definitely going through something at the time, and she just befriended me. Like, she was being real nice to me. And you knew this was your mother's friend. You were introduced yes. like, this is my girlfriend. Yes. Mr. And, and you knew this. Yes, ma'am. And then you say she befriended you? Yes, ma'am. Even though we slept <laughs> together, even though we slept together, I know for a fact I wasn't the only person she was sleeping with. Throughout the time that I've known her, she had two different cell phones. Those phones ring constantly during the time that we're together. We and talk don't about the girls. Not only that, two and they two. Not you know only, all right, eh? We know they ain't daddy. Eh? Not only that, one day we were walking down the street and a couple of guys were honking the horn, you know, trying to get her attention. But these are people that she knew, not just people who just thought she, you know, looked at her. And one guy stopped. He came, he rolled by and spoke came back by, had to stop the car to speak to her. He was like, you know, why haven't you been answering my phone calls or why haven't I been able to catch up with you? He ended up giving both of us a ride. She gets in the front seat with him, I get in the back seat. She's telling this man that I'm her brother. And I'm going along with it because we just friends. It's all cool. But obviously from the rip, I could tell this is somebody that she's talking to and not and dating, obviously, not just some friend that was riding by offering her a ride. What are you talking about? So within that case, and both of those situations happened before she told me she was pregnant what by me. So when she showed me the paperwork, I'm like, yeah, we're going to have to get a DNA test. Okay, so, so wait. So I want to understand your testimony. In your mind, you all have crossed the line between brother and sister and turned friends into friends with benefits. With benefits. All yeah. right. Every time we got into another one of her male friends, she made sure that she let them know I was only her brother. <laughs> and not so, only that, before so, he even got there, not talking, he should have asked me who this, who this person was. I don't know why he did but before that, when she left her ID at the, sec the security man, I was up there. I went and got it for her. Then the other old man that stayed two streets over, I don't know his name, but I know where he live at, I took him and her to get her kids and her something to eat. The bottom line is I knew she was with all these guys because I'm telling you, lady, I'm you, my judge, you ain't been on, you ain't in the real world. Girl, you the real world is this girl. <laughs> I'm just upset at the fact I knew that she trapped it me. It doesn't matter. I figured it out. It Honey, had to be too late. Your son is grown. It, it doesn't matter. And my son got there on a Sunday. He got a job on a Tuesday. He got a, 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 a car the next Tuesday. She saw money. She was hurting. She Girl. was in pain. She needed help. Say she it. saw uh, Say help. It, and this so you said there was, that Say he it. represented Say help. Everything I did, I Girl. took pictures. Not because the proof to her. I have no the reason to bring her down. I don't want to bring this young girl down. She needs some help. So, Ms. Robinson, what I do... I'm not to listen, bring her listen, down. listen. I understand, and it is clear you tried to help her. What I do want to understand is how you discovered or how you know Girl. about other men being in the picture. It was two married men she hit to me, but people that know me know I don't fool with married men, Girl, and I don't fly with that, you and I, you can't man, talk to me about that. So she never told me the names, but she hit it. Okay, now, Ms. Jackson, is what... Ms. Robinson testifying to truth. It was only one other man, but at the end of the day, me and Dominique was having sex every Shut day. Up. Shut up. My young man, I hope while you up there riding him out, you can take care of this angle child support when this DNA test comes back every day. That's I me. Ain't look at you. You, 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 Stop I'm talking. Listen to me. Some order, Listen, ladies. Stop uh, engaging. Moment. You're here for answers, right? Yes. Okay. Just calm down and let's get them. Okay. 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 
Ms. Jackson? Yes, ma'am. What I want to understand is you're saying there were two men that were possibilities, and both of those men know they are possibilities. Mm -hmm. But what you're also testifying to is when the baby was born, you said Mr. Chaplin... He took to the baby. He, mm -hmm. he accepted what? the baby. All it says is on Facebook, honey. So All you submitted them. text messages to the court mm -hmm. which Can proved you yes. that he accepted the baby. Uh-huh. Go ahead. So Mr. Chaplin mm -hmm. writes, oh, my God, where is she at? I guess that's where. <laughs> yes. What you doing? Where is my daughter? Mm-hmm. And then you write six pounds, seven ounces, 18 and a half inches, born at 5.39 a.m. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chaplin, you write, oh, my God, yes, yes, yes. Hey, I want to see her. Mm -hmm. Why you game? So, Ms. Jackson, you mm -hmm. send a picture of the beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chaplin, you wrote back, oh, my God, I'm so in love. She is so, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, Mom, Ms. Robinson, oh, I want to understand from up. you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask the question. Do you immediately deny that your son is the father? Mm. Or, or, or did you know he was accepting the baby throughout? They came and gave me a pregnancy test. I said, where you got it from? He said, her. I said, take her back to the clinic yourself and wait, and then bring me that test back. He did. He took her to the clinic. She took the test. Okay, we know she pregnant. I said, now come back and talk to me when you got Dana. I said, let's go see her. Well, who's Dana? Dana is DNA. <laughs> oh, And that's what we're here for today, to see DNA. Dana, honey. And that's what we're here for today to see, Dana. I have never heard that mm. before, Jerome. So when Dana comes or when you go see Dana, that's the DNA? That's right. When he go, when that baby come, you get a blood test and I ain't got no problem with taking in none of mine or taking care of none of mine. But until then, I know who she First was before all, I don't need her, before you to take her. her so honey. therefore, I got a problem. I don't need you to take care you of nothing. Understand? I don't need and you to take care of Milani, honey. And then she on Facebook and put a whole bunch of foolishness up there with my name in it, <clears throat> trying to bet. All this is about embarrassing me. I didn't embarrass but it ain't gonna you, work. honey. No Where weapon. You act, you're embarrassing your own no self. No weapon, honey. You can't act like no a grandma. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna keep it cute and classy, Thank okay? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Thank you. Let's do that. I'm trying to calm down. He want me to calm down. I gotta calm okay. down. Okay. When I calm down, can I tell you something? I ain't gonna say nothing no more. This is me. What'd you this. say to me, Miss Robinson? I just want to calm down. I want to tell you something so you can understand me, okay? Okay. So I gotta calm down so you can understand me and not yell as much, okay? Okay. Listen. She wasn't just sleeping with him. When the married man came to talk to my son, it was me, my son, and the dude. And uh, I, I bet you this ain't gonna come back, Dominic Chapman, baby. So, I uh, bet you this gonna come back. Somebody else, baby. So, wait a minute. I want to understand. You are saying... You are saying she you believe that there... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You believe that there is a married man somewhere in this yes. picture who could oh, potentially be the father... Yes. ...of Milani. Yes. Because she said it. Miss Jackson, she, what is your Your response? Honor, is there a married man? She's the one who tried to sleep with the married man. When she first seen that man, she was trying to sleep with that man. So one thing about Tuesday's show, I know who I slept with. At the end of the day, what it's all said, it all boils down to your oh. son take care of Milani. Thank you. If Three months been going too long. And guess what? And you're going to pay the child support too. Thank you. And your daughter, since y'all want to co ride. No problem. Thank you. All no, right. No All problem. right. We take yeah. hours. Yeah. You see no, that? No, you now. don't. No, you, you don't. You see, we are forced to reckon with you. You don't, Huffle. You don't. We are so forced listen, to reckon with you. Listen, listen. Wait listen. on my dad. You don't. Listen, listen, listen. This is a lot of drama. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking and I'm looking at this beautiful little girl and I'm like, oh, thank God she has no idea of all this drama that is going on. We can't wait any longer. Jerome, let's get let's the results. Let's go. Thank yes. you. Let's get it. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Chaplin versus Jackson, when it comes to three-month-old Milani Jackson. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Chaplin, you are the father. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Child Support, baby. Thank you. Miss Jackson, thank calm you. down. Calm down. Thank you. Calm down. 
I see the emotion in your face. What Thank are you, you feeling, Miss Jackson? Man, I'm just like, I went through three months and they keep on putting all these messages away and I told him, regardless of the possibility, that's your child. He told me he could not make no kids. My baby is here, that's your child, honey. Oh, you what you, you gotta got do, to let your mama be a grandma. You got it. You wanna be in this no, family. No, I don't wanna be in your family. She's I don't, our family, my, I don't not care. You. I don't want my child dealing with you at all. That's all bad. right, ladies, listen, listen, listen. This is going nowhere. I have heard enough. You all have been screaming at the top of your lungs like kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting here in this beautiful little girl. I mean, in this moment, she's found her family. I, I mean, if you just take it off of your perspective for once, and I know this is hard because you've been through a lot. And Miss Robinson, look, I'm I'm 49, you 48. I'm from that same school. Ain't no friend of mine sleeping with my son. That ain't gonna never happen. That's not my world. But listen, if you keep this behavior up, you're gonna run her spirit in the ground. And when I look at that beautiful baby, I don't want her 15, 20 years from now running around entertaining men for a cheeseburger. That is not the life you want a little girl to lead. Exactly.